Rowan, this is some demo you've got here. What, what are you making? We're making a, a, a Fanuc Impeller that was, uh, it's roughed and finished in one, one cycle with one tool. Now this is a high power version. This is a D21 Li. This is a longer bed Fanuc Robo drill. I know from talking to the guys at Fanuc that this machine runs or is running at 24,000 RPM and the control itself has a thousand block look ahead. So that's, that's a pretty quick machine at 54 meters a minute rapids as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is, a, this is a really, really high spec machine. As you say, with the 1000 block look ahead and the 24K, we can achieve really, really huge feed rates that we maybe wouldn't have otherwise been able to without such a high speed machine with such high specs on it. Acceleration's important as well to go, especially when you've got nimble parts like this. And I know it's over a G in acceleration, quite a lot more than over a G in acceleration. But the table's critical as well to this. So tell me a little bit about the table and the machine combination. Okay, so we've, we've plonked a, a five axis rotary table onto this, what would be a three axis machine. But this isn't a, any rotary table that we sell. This is spec'd out to be a DD, which means direct drive. Now, instead of having gears, this uses a, an electric motor to drive the, to directly drive the, the, um, the rotary table, and that's why it's so fast. We can achieve much higher RPMs with this because we don't have any mechanical gearings. What, what if you didn't have a direct drive table? What sort of impact would that have on the machine in cycle time? And how fast are you making it? Well, we're making this in about three minutes with a 24K spindle, achieving huge feeds, feeds and speeds. But with a, with a standard rotary table, maybe we'd be doing this two or three times slower, simply because we wouldn't be able to get the rotational. It sounds like a classic combination of having the speed in the table. It'd be no point in having the speed on the table with a direct drive if you didn't have the speed of the machine as well, would you? You need both. Yeah, this is an absolute perfect marriage of the two, uh, two concepts. You wouldn't want to put a direct drive on a slow machine. You wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't want to put a normal rotary table on a high-speed machine. It would just wouldn't work up. So this is an absolute perfect combination of the two. And this is also a very good example of simultaneous machining. Yeah, exactly. This 5 act simultaneous that's been programmed by Hypermill is an absolutely perfect uh, program to show this off because we've uh, optimized the tool paths, we've optimized the feeds and speeds. It's just everything is, is as fast as it can be for, for what is quite a low-cost platform. So looking at the control, uh, in, in some instances, you're running up to 10 meters a minute feed rate. Yeah, exactly. Running up to 10 meters a minute is, is, is huge. I mean, this is an aluminium part, but even for some aluminium parts on a slower machine, you won't be able to achieve this kind of feed rate.